What is going on, Mavaholics? Your boy Chris Maverick. As always, got my best friend cameraman with me, Matty O90. What up? And welcome to another cheat day vlog. Now, we're actually going to take a break from the glory holes of Las Vegas for a little bit because what do I enjoy other than going to the glory holes of Las Vegas? Is cheat meals. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're actually going to be doing two places in one. That's right, I say going to two places in one. We're starting off with a little place called Tropicana Pizza. Now obviously this place is on Lake Mead and Sloan and I drive by this place all the time while I'm going to work and things like that and I gotta say, did I, did I see potential as a glory hole? Yes I did. But I'm thinking, nah, let's just do a cheat meal today. So we're actually gonna try some Tropicana pizza and we're actually gonna try another place that's actually gonna be up the street from us. So, and what these places don't know is that we're gonna be doing reviews of this place of our own. We're gonna try the food and then we're gonna give our own reviews of it. So you ever heard of 007? I'm going 0069 on this shit. Why 0069 you ask? I don't know why. I just think 0069 sounds cool. So we're gonna roll with it. Hey! <laughs> So, as always, we're gonna give you guys our reactions about the food and then give you guys our review of it afterwards. So, let's do this. So I just got done getting my sub. That literally took like maybe, what, 15, 20 minutes? Just for a sandwich, okay? A sandwich of all things. But uh, next time when we do this, maybe we'll make it an epic cheat meal challenge. But like I said, want to keep it light today because I worked out and I'm trying to watch my figure. So I decided to get like myself a chicken parmesan sandwich. So we're actually gonna stop at this next place. So let's do this, let's go. So we just got our, you know, cheat meals for the day. I got my chicken parmesan sandwich here, and I got a giant burrito with steak. <laughs> so, like I said, uh, we're gonna be doing a review of the place as a whole and also the food. Now, I'll start off with Tropicana Pizza. Now, this place, it was actually pretty small inside. You know, they got a wide menu. They had some good looking pizzas and stuff like that, but I wanted to hold off on pizza because I actually had pizza last week, so I'm trying to watch the carbs. But the one thing that did annoy me was that I guess there was like some drunk guy, because apparently they have a bar that's attached to him right next door. And this guy kept coming back and forth, you know, he was bugging the shit out of me. You know, he was, uh, I think he was like trying to mistake in me for like that I had his food, or he's like, oh, do you mind if I take your food or some shit like that? And I told him, yes, I do mind, because this is mine, bitch. You're not taking my food. So I got myself the uh, chicken parmesan sandwich. Let's, let's take a look. Oh, that looks delicious. <laughs> he's like, let's get a smell. Mm, yeah, that smells so good. <laughs> so, just from just from look alone, it looks like it's a pretty decent sized sandwich. It was only it only costs about six dollars, six fifty, if you want to add on taxes and be technical. But let's dig in. <laughs> okay, first bite of Tropicana Pizza's chicken parmesan sandwich. It's actually really good. I mean, the chicken itself is a little crunchy. I mean, kind of dry. I mean, the only thing that's saving it is the marinara sauce and the cheese. 
I think it's, I think it's too much bread. But other than that, if they use like a smaller loaf of bread and actually made the chicken like a little more juicy, not so dry, then it would definitely be a perfect sandwich. But overall, it's a decent sandwich, but could be better. All right, so the next meal we got is Mama Maria's. Now, this place was actually really nice because um, we went in there, the staff, they're really friendly, especially the, the lady that took our order. You know, she was actually really gorgeous. You know, I would definitely fuck. So if there's anything I love more than boobs, booty, and back rubs, is Hispanic women, because they're my type of woman that I want to be like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> So, overall, staff was very friendly, and they had a lot of options there. I mean, the food looked a little pricey, but, Definitely had a lot of good looking stuff in there. So I got myself a giant burrito with steak. So let's take a look at this. Like, what the fuck? It's like the game of the girls burrito. That's some glory hole humor for you. My jokes are what people show up for. The BJ's are shit. Now, I will say this definitely looks like a delicious looking burrito. You know, you got the red sauce, some cheese on it, you know, and of course they got the steak and it comes with rice, you know, beans. And of course you got the guacamole. It's guacamole. <laughs> Uh, pick up the guy and sour cream here on the side if you, in case you want to add that in there But uh, I'm very very especially intrigued with the red sauce because you ever heard of sauce boss from epic mealtime Well, I'm the sauce boss of Las Vegas. You know why because I got that extra sauce. I got that special sauce for you <laughs> If you know what I'm saying <laughs> So let's try this It's like oh look at that look at the inside of that look at that Look at that. You cannot tell me that does not look delicious. Let's try and get as much of this as possible. Okay, first bite of a giant burrito. Oh, Maverick approved. I love the steak. Steak is really tender. You know, they got beans in there. It'll actually taste a lot better when you throw in the pickle de gallo, the guacamole, and sour cream. Which, of course, I have it on the side right here, so I'm going to add that in there in a little bit. You know, it's got, got a little bit of kick to it. Overall, I love this burrito. It's very delicious, and I definitely recommend getting yourself a giant burrito here at Mama Maria's. So, let me get some more of this. It's like, we're, it's like, we're gonna get fat today. All right, so that was my cheat meal of the day. Now, between both of these places, I gotta say, I like Mama Maria's a lot better. So, do you think I'm gonna go back there for maybe do, uh, maybe a glory hole? Or maybe just another food challenge? Or maybe even another live blog? Of course I'm gonna go back, so. Like I said, between these two places, I definitely love Mama, Mama Maria's because, like I said, the giant burrito, it was very good. It definitely had some good kick to it. No, I love spicy food. So I would definitely recommend getting yourself a giant burrito. They got plenty of other options there if you want, you know, just some starters. You know, they got a lot of good stuff there. So, you know, hey, we got pictures of the menu, so check out the menu and see for yourself. But other than that, that's today's uh, cheat meal. So if you guys like this video, Make sure you subscribe to this channel, you know, make sure you like this video, and hey, follow me on social media, I got it all. Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, and hey, I got the works, baby. So, hey, if you guys want to see more, you no know, cheat meals and more food challenges like this, you know, hey, just give me a shout out in the comment section below. So until then, I'm out, baby.